All right, here we are, pin 12. This is the rest of the 113s. That's the, the partial belted gilt there in the back is the 113-5. That'd be the Family Tradition squared edge. Again, the Family Tradition deal seemed to work very, very well on this gilt. Um, I mean, that thing there's an absolute freak. I mean, great build, great design, not messed up anywhere. Um, I think she's one, if you want to get out early in the jackpots and that lighter weight classes, she'll be good. I think she's built to last for a long, the long haul. Um, again, I probably should be saving her for one of the live sales, but 113.5 I think is deadly. Uh, she's on my top tier list by all means. Um, that one's well worth the drive to come take a look. Then we've got the 113-7 gilt. That's kind of this, this skunk face gilt there in the back corner. That gilt there, again, the 113s, I just love their basic builds. I think you could do about anything you want with them. I love their neck, head, and ears. I think their hip and hind legs are incredible. Um, you know, of course, some guys don't always love the skunk face deal. I personally don't think it matters. Uh, so 113.7, that'd be the Family Tradition Squared Edge. Again, as you've seen, the 113 litter, um, I think they're going to have a great career um, in the show world. Then we've got the last gilt in this pin, which is actually the 116-6 gilt. And she's kind of the bigger gilt here. She's the big pretty gilt that I think that one long term could be an awesome big gilt. You know, she needs to just keep coming around. She's still just a little bit greener, but I mean, that one's uniqueness of head is just ridiculous. Uh, that one there just kind of prances around like a little deer. I mean, she is just flat good. Uh, great build, great look. You know, she's good bone. She's not huge boned. Um, but I think it's exceptional. So that'd be the 116-6 and that'd be the royalty on the hidden secret.